Hello everyone. I am Anukrish Vastav. I am a research scholar in Vanity University, Greater Noida. Recently, I have become very interested in the field of deep learning and machine learning. Uh, as it is known that uh, there are basically uh, three learnings, supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning. Okay. So I am here to talk about a project work which is based on the reinforcement learning. So the idea behind the reinforcement learning is there is an agent will learn from the environment by interacting with it and receiving some reward for performing the action. Rewards may be negative or may be positive. If you want to know more about reinforcement learning, you can mail me the mail ID given below. So let us understand the project work. Actually, I am quite passionate about autonomous driving. I want to build a car that learns to drive itself using reinforcement learning. Basically, I would like to build a self-driving car, self-learning robot car that can move around my campus with top speed without hitting any obstacle. Okay, but before it I figured it uh, it is best to start in a virtual environment okay so let us understand the idea behind the project so the, my project title is obstacle avoidance using reinforcement learning so the basic goal of the virtual self-learning robocar is to drive around an environment for as long as possible without hitting anything so this is the basic goal so, so these are the contents. What is the basic goal of that project? What are what is the general course concept behind used behind a, in this project? What are the library used? And the and the last is learning algorithm. Okay. So the basic goal of the virtual self-learning robocar is to drive uh, around an environment for as possible, as long as possible without hitting anything. Here you can see uh, this is the car, the green ball is a car and the dotted pixel actually these are the sensors. And the blue walls, these are the obstacle which are slowly moving. And the you can see the this wall, uh, this is the orange ball. It is a very fast moving obstacle. And this is the wall. Okay. This is the wall. So most of the reinforcement learning projects I came across use the pixel matrix from the entire screen as the state of the game. So this makes a lot of sense for those products as they are trying to be general video game learners. Where my project differs is that I want to turn this uh, into a physical project and I don't know how to pull a real time pixel representation of my campus. So I use a matrix of sensor that fan out the front of the car instead of the entire screen worth of pixel data. These sensors you can see uh, these sensors read the pixel color at their location and convert that into a 0, 1 or 2 depending on its <coughs> come across an obstacle. A wall or the open road. So, zero for obstacle, one for a wall, and two for the open road. Okay. So the general concept uh, is the car works as a agent that automatically moves itself forward faster and faster 
is the game process. Here the available actions are turn left, turn right or do nothing. At every frame the game returns both a state or a reward. Okay, the reward may be positive or negative. So we have taken three slowly uh, moving obstacle in the environment and uh, we added a relatively fast moving obstacle for making task challenging. So this ensures our robocar has to continuously adapt to its environment and avoid the problem of overfitting. Okay. Uh, we used a matrix of sensor as I explained that fan out from the front of the car gives reading 0, 1, 2 depending on it come across, uh, come across an obstacle, a wall or a open road. Okay. So the library used, I have used many libraries. So basically I have used Python 3 and Keras with Theano backend. Theano is basically used for the mathematical computation. I have used Pygame and Pymonk for the game itself. Uh, Pygame and Pymonk is used for creating a 2D environment for game. Okay. I have used a nn.py file which is used for neural network. Learning.py which is used for basically for reinforcement learning. Here are the Q learning processes. Okay. And this is the playing.py. So here all the simulation task is done and simply takes a trained model and it drives. Okay. So this is basically a learning algorithm we have used. Start a new model, new game and move the car forward one frame without turning. Get a reading of the sensor basically 0, 1 or 2. Okay, so when we get zero, it means obstacle. So we get, uh, so basically we get negative reward. When we get one, it means wall. So here also we get negative reward. When we get two, so here we get actually a positive reward because two means open row. Based on those uh, readings, predict the Q values. These predict uh, these predictions show RoboCar's confidence that it should take each of the three actions listed above. The first time through these will be worthless, but we have to start somewhere. Generate a random number if it's less than our epsilon, choose a random action. If it's higher than our epsilon, choose the most confident action returned from the our production. Execute the action and get another sensor reading. And what about so so this is basically a working of so you can see the output of my project so here the green wall is car and very fast moving obstacle is orange wall and there are three other obstacle three walls you can see here the three blue walls you can see the output of our project so it is all about my project work i hope you all are enjoyed by watching this if you found you got educated by watching this just hit the like button and subscribe my channel deep learning with anukra Okay, thanks friends.